Welcome to my channel. This is, is great. So, and what I do, I solve technical job problems and also provide very important information that you can make you so for you to have better performance in your technical drawing examinations. If you are watching my video for the first time, I want to ask you to subscribe to this channel, put on notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified and help me to share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students. And it's very important that you practice this subject. This is a practical subject. When you practice it, you surely master it. Now, as I promised that I'll be uh showing you how you can construct an inferior trochoid we have constructed a superior trochoid i've explained what you need to do to get that uh constructed so here also i'll be telling you how you can uh construct a, an inferior trochoid and i'm making use of this question in pick up apaka one uh, that is engineering drawing book one okay uh this question that we have here says that a point p is 16 millimeters inside a 76 millimeters diameter circle. If the circle rolls for one revolution along a fixed horizontal line, draw the locus of P. So I'm not going to make use of this part. I don't need the, I don't want to use it now. So I may still make use of this question uh, later. Okay. Now, um, now the rolling circle, the rolling circle has a diameter of 76 millimeters. And the point that we are going to use so which is inside the rolling circle is 16 millimeters away from uh, from uh, a point on the rolling circle. So because of the size of this paper here, so I will be uh, using 64 instead of 76 as the diameter of the rolling circle. And then for the point, for the point that we are going to use to generate that inferior trochoid, I'll be using 12 instead of 16. So uh, 64. So I would divide 64 by 2 as the radius of the relay circle, and that will give me uh, 32. So I've drawn the circle here. This is the circle. I drew horizontal center line, vertical center line, and I draw I, I drew this circle. So the radius of this circle is 32 millimeters. So and then now for the point that we are going to uh, use to generate that inferior trochoid. So we are using 12 as I said. So we're going to subtract 12 from 32. We subtract 12 from 32 and that will give us 20. So I'm going to take a measurement of 20 millimeters. 20 millimeters on my ruler. Okay, so I put at this point and I will draw a circle. Okay. Okay. Now after i have drawn this circle so the next thing that i'm going to do so the next thing that i'm going to do is to divide the small circle into uh, 12 equal parts so it's to divide the small circle into 12 equal parts so i'm dividing it here now into 12 equal parts so it is the small circle that we are dividing to 12 equal parts not the big circle unlike what we did for the superior uh, trochoid that we divided the big circle into 12 equal parts. In this case, for the inferior trochoid, we are dividing the small circle into 12 equal parts. Okay. All right. So I'm going to number the points on the small circle now. So this point is zero. This point is zero. So this is one. This is 2, this is 3, so this point is 4, this is 5, this is 6, this is 7, this is 8, so this is 9, this is 10, so here we have 11. Alright, so the next thing that we are going to do now is that I'm going to draw a horizontal line from each point on this small circle, so we draw a horizontal line for this. And also 1 and 11 are on the same point on the circumference of the small circle we draw a horizontal line and 2 and 10 they are also on the same point on the circumference of the small circle then we have drawn that of the uh, of the of 9 as 3 and 9 so I can extend it also 4 and 3 they are on the same point on the circumference of the circle I will draw this so 5 and 7 are on the same point on the circumference of the circle so i will draw this then six so we have it here so we draw a horizontal line like this so now so having done this the next thing that we are going to do 
is that on this point, on the big circle, on the rolling circle, this big circle is the rolling circle, is the one that is rolling. Okay, so we are going to draw a horizontal line. So we draw a horizontal line like this on this point. Then we calculate the circumference of the rolling circle. We calculate the circumference of the rolling circle. So the circumference of the rolling circle here, the circumference of the rolling circle is um, so if I multiply 64, so 64, uh, if I multiply 64 by 30.142, so that will give me 201. So I used it in that of the spread of trochoid. So I used that 64. So that will give us 201. So we take, that is the circumference of this rolling circle. So please try to understand the difference between the two. Just listen to, uh, listen to my explanation for the construction of spiral trochoid. So, because I make some changes here. So that's why I'm using 64. Here I also use 64. But you need to look, listen to the difference between them or look at the difference between what I did here and what I'm doing here. Okay, now, so if I, so the circumference of the rolling circle here is, is 64, sorry, is 201. Diameter is 64, so the circumference is 201. So I will take a measurement of 201 millimeters. So this is 201. So I'm going to divide this distance from year to year into 12 equal parts. I divide the distance to 12 equal parts. So I'm going to pause the video. I do that and come back and show you the next thing to do. All right. So I divided. Uh, this distance from here to here into 12 equal parts. So I'm going to make this line, I'll make it a thick line. I'll make it a thick line. So from here to here. Okay, so then I will number this. So this is one. So this is, I'll just, let me put zero here. So this is two, this is three, this is four. And this is five, so this is six, this is seven, this is eight, so this is nine, this is ten, this is eleven, and then we have this to be zero. All right, so the next thing to do now is to erect a vertical line on each of these points. So I'll be erecting a vertical line. On each of these points, so it's from here to here. So I'll draw a vertical line here. Okay, here I will draw a vertical line. Here is a vertical line. Okay. All right, so this is the last one. All right, so we have erected the vertical line. So the next thing that we are going to do now, so this is where you need to pay attention. Now, to get the points that we are going to uh, we are going to join together with the use of a French curve to obtain a uh, to ob obtain an inferior trochoid. So we take the radius of this circle. Of this small circle, so you take the radius of this small circle. Then, before that, so I need to number this center. So, this is center zero, so this is C0, so this is C1, so this point is C2, center 2, here is center 3, here is center 4, here is center 5, this is center 6, this is center 7, this is center 8. So this is center 9, this is center 10, this is center 11, and this is center 0. Okay, now, so as I said, we take the radius of this small circle here. So you put a center 1, and then, so we make an arc on this line, on line 1. 
or line one among the lines that we drew outside the small circle okay all right so i believe you can see everything now so then so this is the point here this is the point so we have the point here then we put our center two so you make an arc on line two here so this is the point here then for three so you make an arc on line three so this is the point then four so you make an arc on line four so this is point four then so five center five so you make an arc on line five this is line five here so sorry um okay so this is line five so we have point five then for six so for six so you touch this point so you touch this point here so that is the point on this so this point here is where it will touch okay so we have point five here then for seven so for seven so we have a point here then for eight so we have a point on this line so for nine so we have a point here then center 10 so we have a point here on this line and center 11 so we have a point here okay okay so we are joining it together with this point here this point here we are joining together with this point so which i believe you can see and also we are joining everything together with this point here on the small circle so we are making use of the french curve so we have to look at how the point are uh, how the points are uh, on okay so i can use this part of the french curve to join this together okay then all right so what we are doing is that we are producing and constructing an inferior uh, trochoid okay so then i will also do the same thing here so i did there so that all right so this shape that we have here is known as inferior trochoid this curve is known as inferior trochoid so as i said so it's as simple as i've shown it here all you need to do is to practice it and try to understand the explanation that i made in this construction so thank you uh, for watching and thank you for uh practicing and just make sure you practice this, practice this very well. God bless you.